So the exploitation of the martial art is no different than a lot of many, many arts that have already been exploited and watered down to the point where it's no longer an art. See, in order for there to be an art, there is, there has to be a sense of spirit in it, a sense of where it is helping the person become more educated, helping the person to become more at peace, of spreading more of a positive energy around this world. That's what makes it artful. And I see even in countries like China where they would have certain arts. A lot of times it would be something like Tai Chi Quan or Qi Gong where there would be a philosophy behind the art. It's not just techniques for no purpose, but there's a philosophy behind it. But then there would be a government that comes in and forces the people to take that philosophy out because they would say that it's um, corrupting the society in a way. But really, by them forcing that philosophy out of the art, that is the corruption. Because what they want, they don't want the practitioners to be educated through the art. They want the people just to be mechanical, to not think, to just do, to follow with no resistance. An intelligent person a wise person does not just follow without questioning because they have an intelligent mind and they know how to analyze and think and see things beyond just the surface. They're very less easily controlled. And the government of these countries do not want that. They want control of people. And the way they gain control is to make people ignorant. Now, these arts typically are supposed to educate people on a deeper way to become more intelligent to become wise but you see they have taken that away so in the martial art for example has turned into combat sport and turned into just a way of just entertaining violence so that is the difference between sport and, and art sport is just no philosophy behind it no way no education of the way art there is a way art there is a philosophy there's a way to better understand yourself, better understand society, a way to learn to be expressive, creative. Sport is just a game, nothing more, for entertainment. Art is beautiful, creative expression. So what I say, what I see is that it's not just martial art that has been corrupted. It's a lot of different arts. 
So we see something like hip hop. It was supposed to be an art, a way of music, a way of expression that would educate a certain segment of the population to better themselves and to better the society around them. That music used to be a form of education. But now, the hip hop music is no longer a form of education. At least not in the mainstream that you see. It's been watered down, it's been corrupted. So it's no longer an art. It's just a way of to further make people ignorant, to further their ignorance. Rather than educating them, it's making them more ignorant. The lyrics, there's no substance behind the lyrics, there's no meaning, there, there's, there's no more education, there's no more intelligence, no wisdom passed on through the music. It's all garbage now. It's all just for profit, just for show. Teaching people, listeners, to further be controlled, to further be enslaved. No longer educated. So fans of hip hop will know what I'm speaking about. In the past, there were MCs, they call it, that would educate. But now there's no longer. So, that art has been corrupted, severely corrupted, to the point where... There's almost no turning back. The mainstream is all corrupted. But in YouTube, in the social network, you might be able to find some hip-hop artists that are unknown, that are spreading positive messages to help educate. And that was rep that's a representation of true hip-hop. But in mainstream, you don't see that any longer. So you see the corruption, and that is exactly what happened with the martial arts. It's been severely corrupted to the point where we don't see martial art much anymore. We just see organized violence, we just see combat sport, we just see fighting, but we don't see martial art anymore. And the same thing has happened to the woman, to love. There used to be an appreciation of love, appreciation of woman. Something like there used to be art that was created to represent love. Like William Shakespeare portraying in his way, an artful way, to express what he thinks love means. But now, there's no longer that. There's just straight pornography, straight lust. We're bombarded by just lust, just sex alone. No love, no intimacy. So the whole notion of love has been corrupted. All we see is lust and people mistakenly think that lust is love when really love goes way beyond just the lust. But people, all they are exposed to is the lust. The art of love is missing. 